Welcome back. Good morning, everybody. Our cameras were rolling when Kevin and Laura Brodsky gave some deserving kids an early Christmas surprise in North Lakeland yesterday. Take a look. They arrived at the Salvation Army's Community of Hope transitional home, delivering presents for 20 homeless children that are staying there. We told the Brodskys about the Salvation Army's Angel Tree program there, helping more than a thousand needy children in the West Polk County area alone. And the Brodskys brought along even the employees of their family business and a very special granddaughter who's three years old taking in on the surprise. We're so delighted to have them in the studio with us this morning, along with the inspiration um, for all that they do. Their only grandchild, Milana, who celebrated her birthday yesterday by giving out presents to the children. Hi there, happy birthday. <laughs> She's still looking at the cameras. <laughs> Thank you so much, Laura and Kevin, for what you all do. Kevin, describe the idea. Like, how do you all feel about going there and having Milana be there and watching everything that was going on yesterday? The feeling was amazing. Um, Milana wanted to go there and for her birthday, which was yesterday, mm -hmm. uh -huh. and do something special and um, <laughs> see, see the children that are, that are less fortunate than she is. And it put a big smile on everyone's heart when she was there handing out presents. <laughs> it, it was very satisfying. You know, this is something that um, it's an important time of year when folks who are fortunate enough to have enough for their families can give back. Um, thank you for, for doing that. Laura, tell us about the reaction from the children that were there yesterday. Oh, it, was, it, it really melts your heart when you see these um, innocent children that just are not used to to this and to, for, to work with her to have her hand out the, the gifts to Santa and give them to the kids. It was just very heartwarming. Mm -hmm. One of the things that I that I love about you all is you talk about how the community has supported your business and you wanted to give back. Um, what do you say, Kevin, to the folks out there, the, the, the folks who own businesses, um, about being part of things like this? It's a lot more satisfying to take care of people that have needs that um, we're not fortunate in life that we were. We have a very fortunate family. Mm -hmm. Life has been blessed to us. And um, teaching Milana at a, on her third birthday um, <laughs> to give is a lot better than to receive. And for the families that can afford to take care of their own families, and if they have a little extra that can go a long way for the families hey, that are not fortunate, their children are, you know, innocent. Yeah. And, you know, they can't help the situation that they're in, unfortunately. And it, to be there and see it for yourself is amazing. It's amazing. I mean, it touched all of our hearts. Even everyone that came with us, they couldn't believe. Yeah, what a moment. The, it's a game know. changer moment for those yeah. children. And, and um, you see the face, Milana's face, how she was handing the gifts and yeah. the well, hugs she got in the Thank they you say, for coming birthday. in. And again, thank you for what you've done. Brought a wonderful Christmas. She's such a cutie pie. Thank I think you. she's had it with the lights and the <laughs> camera. <laughs> Yeah, but, uh, Merry uh, Christmas. She's a little overwhelmed by all thanks the lights and the cameras. Thank you for coming in. And thanks for watching, everybody. Look, we'll look be right back after this.